Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how you can record tests for your game using BrowserStack Cloud devices. <clears throat> to try this, uh, you first need to have a BrowserStack account. Um, you will be opening the BrowserStack app live section of BrowserStack. You can find the URL directly for that in the video. You also need to install and then start the BrowserStack local application. Again, there's a URL on where to download that from in the video. This is an application that uh, once you start it, uh, it will create a tunnel that allows browser stack cloud devices to connect to applications that are running on your local machine. In this case, once you get the app to be connected, it will allow your game running in the cloud to connect to Altester desktop application running locally on your machine. Uh, you then need to select a game that has been instrumented with Altester. Um, I have myself uploaded the Trashcat Unity sample game for Android. And then you need to select a device from the list. Um, this will start the application um, on the device. And once the game is started, you can see the green alt tester pop-up that shows that the game has been instrumented with alt tester. The pop-up still says it's waiting to connect to alt server, so you need to start the alt tester desktop to make sure that the server is running locally on your machine. So, <clears throat> once the alt tester desktop app is started and the alt server is running, so it's showing green, the pop-up in the game will also say connected to alt server. So now your setup is uh, ready. And you are you can now inspect the app and record some tests using alt tester desktop. So let's get started with that. You can turn live update on to see the game in real time, mirrored in the Altesta desktop. And you can now see the entire Unity object hierarchy in the Inspector tab, and you can also select any game object and see its properties within the Inspector. You can switch to the Recorder tab to start recording your first test. You can record tests in C-sharp or Python, and for this tutorial I will be using C-sharp. Um, when you start the recording, an nUnit test class is create, generated and code will automatically be generated and added to it as you interact with the game. For example, uh, you could load a new scene and uh, the code to add to load a scene is added to the recorder window. So alt driver load scene start um, is, is added to the code. Now that the start scene is loaded, uh, in an automated script, you might want to check that the logo, the start button, and the bottom text are correctly displayed. And with the select object enabled in the Altesta desktop, you can click on each of these. Uh, the recorder will automatically add code that waits for each of these objects to be displayed as you've selected them earlier. If you want to instead click or tap on objects instead of selecting them, you can disable the select object setting. And you can now click, for example, on the start button to actually load the next scene. The click action on the start button is recorded as code in the recorder. Now that the new scene is loaded, we can click on a few menu buttons and check that the correct menu is loaded by selecting the title. And this will add again code to wait for the correct title to be displayed once a specific menu was loaded. We could add one extra check to see that the menu is closed and the correct view with the, with the correct title is shown. And we can now see the full recorded flow as code in the recorder. We can stop the recording and copy the recorded steps. The idea here is to now paste the recorded steps in a .NET project. I have a, a basic sample test here that I can paste over. A tutorial on how to create such a project is available at the link shown in the video. So now we have the recorded steps uh, saved in, in our project. 
and uh, we can use the command .NET test to run the flow you just created and watch it execute live on the browser stack device. We should see the actions being performed now in a, in a moment on the device. And here it is, it has started. And the test has just passed and is green. Thank you so much for watching.